Hi, Stephanie at the Reddick Library. Would you look at this mess? I've got stuff everywhere. I can't find my markers or my pencils. I need to get organized. I think today we're going to make a pencil caddy. See if that helps us clean up our arts and craft supplies. These are the supplies you'll need. You're going to need some empty toilet paper rolls. You're going to need an empty box. I have a soda box, but you can use a cereal box, a cracker box, whatever you have. I have glue and tape. I can use either one of those. I have some colored paper. I also have some paint. If you have crayons, that will work. Anything you can use to decorate your toilet paper tubes. And I have some scissors. I've decided I want my pencil caddy to be a rainbow. So I'm gonna use my colored paper today. I cut out rectangles that are large enough to cover the toilet paper tube. I had some fancy scissors, so I thought it'd be fun to have the top edge be scalloped, but you can just use uh, regular straight scissors. It was also helpful to have a pencil and a ruler. Once I cut my first piece and I knew that it fit around the toilet paper tube, I went ahead and used it as a pattern and traced it onto the other sheets of paper. That just makes it a little easier and I'm just going to go ahead and cut those out right now. I finished cutting out my rectangles and I'm going to start attaching them to the tubes. Don't get rid of all that scrap paper that was left. We're going to use that to decorate the tubes. I'm ready to start gluing, so I protected my table with a piece of wax paper. I can be kind of messy with glue. I went ahead and put a strip of glue on the tube, and then I took my rectangle of paper and with the, laid the straight edge right there along the glue. I pressed it down a little bit to help it stick. I do have some clothespins if I need to help hold the paper together as I work on it. If you don't have any glue, don't worry, you can always use tape to do this. If you don't have glue and want to use tape instead, just take a piece of tape and tape the straight edge along the side of the toilet paper tube. Then wrap the paper all the way around and tape it again to hold it down. I used glue on the first two tubes, but I found that the tape was faster and it was cleaner and it was easier to use, so I ended up using tape on the rest of them. Plus, that way I don't have to wait for it to dry to do the fun stuff, decorating. Next, I use the scraps of paper to cut out little hearts, flowers, and butterflies. I'm going to use them to decorate the tubes. You don't have to use hearts and flowers. You can cut any shapes you like, or you can just draw pictures on the tube with the crayon or markers. I glued all my hearts and butterflies and flowers to the tubes. I used glue, but this would be nice if you had a glue stick. It would make it a little easier and a little less messy. While I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm going to work on the base. I'm going to cut off the ends and the sides of my box, and I'm going to use just the large flat side. Once I finished cutting apart the box, I was left with two nice flat pieces for the base. I'm going to cut them into a different shape, I think, just because the square is kind of boring. Just make sure that you have enough room so that all your tubes can sit on the base. I've cut out the base and as you can see my cat Jax has decided to help. I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the picture here. There we go. <laughs> so I cut out the base. Um, I'm going to keep my tubes in a line because they're a rainbow but you could arrange them any way you'd like on the base. I think I'm going to cover my base in colored paper, but you could paint the base or use crayons or markers, whatever you'd like. I ended up painting my base. I didn't have a piece of paper large enough to cover the, the piece of cardboard, and I ended up finding some sky blue paint, so that works out really well. I'm attaching the tubes to the base using glue. This might be easier if you used a hot glue gun, but I'm going to try it this way first. Arrange your tubes on the base, however you'd like to have them. I had mine in a rainbow pattern, so they're pretty much in a straight line. I did turn them a little bit to make sure that the seams were hidden, though. Okay, I finished gluing the tubes to the base. I also added a little bit of glue right where they meet each other um, up here at the tops. I thought maybe that would help sturdy them. My craft caddy is all dry. After it dried, I found that it's very sturdy, much stronger than I thought it was going to be. So I'm ready to fill it with my supplies. My craft caddy is complete. I filled it with all my pens and markers and pencils and scissors, all that good stuff. It's so bright and cheerful. This should make homework time and craft time much more fun. It looks great as a centerpiece on your table, or you can use it on your desk. 
I had enough supplies that I was able to make a grown-up version of this too. I used some decorative tape that I found in the bottom of my craft box, but you could use scrapbooking paper or leftover wrapping paper or even pretty paper napkins to decorate the tubes. I think I'm organized now and I'm ready to go. I think I'm going to use this one on my desk and then use the brightly colored one for when my granddaughters visit. I hope you enjoy crafting with me and I hope you have a great day.